Hey there, Drew Canoli. I'm glad you're watching this video. I've recently done something that has completely changed my life, and I wanted to share it with you. It's an exercise that I call breaking up with the ego. <laughs> Everybody's been in a dysfunctional relationship, at least one point in their life. Maybe it was a long, long time ago. You dated for like a week, and then you figured it out that that wasn't the right relationship for you. But I'm not talking about any personal relationship. I'm talking about the relationship that you have with your ego. For me, my ego disguised itself over and over and over again. It's almost like it kept multiplying like a virus within me. As soon as I figured out what it was, it would shapeshift itself and it was like chasing the elusive beast. So what I did is I defined what my ego was. And I think that's the starting point for many people. What is it? For me, it always had to be my show. I had to feel the need to be validated. And that's terrible. It's an act that you carry with you everywhere you go. Think about how exhausting that was, you know, and is for, is for you. If you're acting your life out day after day, being somebody that you're not, you're not in your authentic self, and it's tiring. So, this led me to the breakup letter. It took some time, and I started writing this letter. All the things that I liked about my ego, how it's got me where I am today. It made me strong, disciplined. It made me, you know, get out in the public. Made it but it didn't serve my highest good. See, all those were it centered, centered around what was good for Drew, not what was good for the humanity and the rest of the world. And I told my ego that in the letter. So first off, I explained to it what it was good for, and then secondly, I talked to my ego about what it wasn't good for. And when I did that, it completely freed me. It was a very emotional experience, because you want to hang on to it. Everybody wants to hang on to their ego. But is it truly serving you? Are you gonna reach the next level if you continue to hold on to this thing? So I broke up with it. And after I was done with the letter, I just felt this huge sense of relief. Like I was just completely uplifted from this thing that has been with me for so many years, holding me back from my true potential. So I encourage you, if you're watching this video, you're watching it for a reason, to truly take the time to write a breakup letter to your ego. Let me know how it goes. I'll be coming up with more exercises like this, so make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel up on the left-hand screen. And I'll talk to you soon. Drew Canoli.